On day five of the nationwide protest to end bad governance in Nigeria, demonstrators in Kaduna State took to the streets to demand an end to economic hardship in the country. But no sooner had the protest began, it soon degenerated into a looting spree. Protesters in their thousands marched from the Kawo Bridge through the metropolis to the stadium roundabout along Constitution Road. Motorists were seen hanging green leaves in front of their cars to ensure safe passage, signaling solidarity with the hostile mob that had taken over the streets. Similar demonstrations occurred in other parts of town and in the Zaria metropolis. Among the protesters were minors as young as five years old. Armed with flags of different colors and placards with various inscriptions, the protesters looted and destroyed governments and private buildings. Banks were not spared too. Even the presence of the police could not deter the determined protesters as they marched to the neighbor roundabout and Ali Akilu Road, cutting away generators, roofing sheets, office chairs, security doors and other items. Some protesters were seen climbing armored personnel carriers of security operatives, chanting inciting slogans in Hausa and calling for the overthrow of the civilian government and a return to military rule. Due to the increase in violence, the Kaduna State Government has now enforced a 24-hour curfew on Kaduna Metropolis and Zaria Town. The State Security Council announced that the curfew was necessary to prevent further disorder as criminal elements had taken over the protests. Citizens are now being advised to remain indoors while security forces work to restore public order. With the curfew in place, Kaduna streets are expected to be deserted, with citizens urged to comply with security directives for their safety. Nisi Gabriel, Arise News, Kaduna.